Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I want to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones, aka my targeted individuals. The attacks will start to ramp up. The more society continues to flow in the current situation that is flowing in, the more the attacks will ramp up. And a lot of people that don't walk this way of life, a lot of people who don't believe in divine timing and everything happens for a reason for the people who believe in paranoia and schizophrenia and all these other things they they're divided right now you know what i mean and i say that to say a lot of us over here who walk this way of life who have become targeted individuals because we follow source you know what i mean that's the whole core base behind being a targeted individual. I know a lot of people in today's society likes to use different blueprints and formulas and then, you know, identify themselves there as a targeted individual. But the real targeted individual are the God, the creator's chosen ones, the ones who have been choosing to walk this way of life. And you realize that choose and chose is choice is it comes with so much power and abilities and discipline that a lot of people should already understand that you're not chosen and you're not targeted especially if you aren't a disciplined being not saying you gotta be disciplined at 100 percent, but if you're not above that 50 60 percent marker you're not targeted and you're not chosen because you haven't been walking and fighting long enough and hard enough to be placed in that category but what kind of dove me into this subject today was, as far as, you know, beings being targeted individuals and all these attacks ramping up, is that we experience a lot of weird sensations that are sometimes unexplainable with the words that we have and because of people belief systems. And then you also have things happening to you that most people would not believe if they wasn't right there with you meaning in the car with you when it was happening at your house when it was happening out and about when it was happening it's a lot of things that transpire that people wouldn't believe happening if they didn't have other people around so a lot of things and a lot of attacks that we actually experience and go through most of it we don't even share with everybody or anybody because we just take it as something subtle for the ones who aren't all the way aware of what's happening and i'll give a little example as far as for me and I've been through a lot and I'm still going through a whole lot of it right now you know they just it, they change bodies and vessels you know it's kind of like the creator looks down and sees all or looks up and sees all or looks in and sees all you know the opposition does the same thing too you know and I was coming back from somewhere the other day on the interstate and I was just driving at my speed how I normally drive, you know what I mean? The left lane is to drive at your speed, the right lane is to drive the speed limit. That's my thought process on the interstate. If you go, if the interstate say 70 and you're going 75, that's not fast enough for the left lane. You're going to have to get over to the right lane. Let me go around you. Or if I get close enough, I'll get in the right lane and go around you myself. But it was so weird that I was having that kind of situation the other day. And me not thinking much of it, you know, I kind of got closer to the car as I'm getting closer to the traffic. I, it kind of looks like a cop car, but it's not. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm about to go around this car real quick. But before I can go around it, they started doing the brake check thing, you know, and I wasn't even telling them. They just, I guess they used their rear view mirrors. They didn't like the speed that I was catching up to them at. So then they started doing this whole weird braking thing. I brushed it off, not paying no mind. Wasn't even close to brake checking me or anything. Um, I get over in the right lane. As soon as I get in the right lane, I go to speed up, which I should have sped up before I got over that way, but I, I was trying to judge the traffic. So I waited. So when I got in the right lane, now I gas it. Now I'm speeding up. This dummy going to decide to speed up soon as I do. I didn't look over to see who it was, what it was. I just, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, like, all right, I'm in my own world. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B. And a lot of these other gang stalkers they take all of these things personal it's like bro i don't know you and i don't know your car 
I'm driving an hour away from where I was at trying to get my ass back to my place so I can get my day and routine flowing. And they're taking things personal. So he speeds up and it's another car in front of me so I couldn't get over. So what I do is I just do a hard stop or slow down and I literally swerve right behind them. Like I always do. I'm like, all right, well, if you want to drive at the speed, so since I get behind them, now they want to drive under the speed limit in the fast lane so they're holding up all the traffic. They still doing the brake check thing because I guess they just felt like fucking with me. I literally was just minding my own business trying to get up the road, listening to my videos. Wasn't even having no music on. Long story short, I go back to get around them. I finally, I had to try about two, three times. Finally get around them. Because for me on the interstate, I like to cruise at like 80, 85, you know, and then I bounce around between that 90, 95 range, you know. If it's other fast traffic out there, we'll push it 100. We safe drivers. I, I haven't been in accidents like that before. Anyways, I go to get around him, and I finally make it around him. It's two cars that's been riding together the whole time. I had no idea. As soon as I got in front of the other car, the other car that's in front of me now slams on the brake. It wasn't even a brake check. I mean, he slammed on his brake to the point where I had to slam on mine. And he did this slow driving thing to the point to where he kind of kept his tail lights to, as close as possible to me so the other car could get over in the right line and get in front of both of us. And I just kept thinking, damn, this shit, this shit weird. The first time it happened, I just didn't pay no mind to it. I'm just like, ah, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? It, people was weird out here on the road. The second time I happened, I knew these two cars was working together. Because I seen the first guy who I was having issues with, or was having issues with me. I wasn't even having issues with him. He started doing that looking in the rear view mirror thing and doing all of this thing right here. I'm just like, bro, I don't care about none of that. For one, I will whoop your ass. And two, I shoot you in the face. Like, don't play with me. People be doing things with people and they have no idea what they have in their car. They have no idea what these people, what I could be capable of. But I know me, so I just, I brush it off, see him doing this little thing on the radio. And it was just throwing me off, because I, I was having a fine flowing day, the night was cool. The day started off okay until I ran into this. And it was like, when I finally was able to get around both the vehicles, I could tell by the car that they just seemed frustrated that I got around both of them finally, and now I could drive at my speed. And I just kept thinking to myself, like, damn, yo, they, they really are ramping up the gang stalking. Like, there was no purpose and no need for these two cars to stop me. I'm just trying to get up the road. They could get out the way and let me get out the road. If they're working, they know that other people is on the road working as well, too. And you're taking something personal that shouldn't be taken personal. That's why I was like, this isn't a personal thing. I understand the spiritual war that's going on. And with the way technology is constantly changing and ramping up, you know, I know a lot of people that tap in with me over here this way. Y'all know my vibes and y'all know my lingo. So a lot of people who subscribe to me are constantly getting unsubscribed. They got to resubscribe again. They got to refine the channel. They stop putting me in front of their, you know, their home pages. It'd be like a bunch of, I just seen somebody down in the comments like, bro, I don't know why they keep making me have to subscribe to your channel when I'm already subscribed. It's part of the spiritual war that we having right now, you know. They are turning up the volume, they turning up the heat on everyone that has been targeted. They want you to know that you have been targeted. And what's crazy is, it's like a lot of things that be subtly happening, you just brush off and don't pay no mind to it, but then it be really other entities in the spiritual realm working against you. Why you think it's always a, a thing where you started using your phone for, for BS, just lollygagging, it's working fine. Soon as you want to actually use your phone for something productive, now the server doesn't want to work properly, your, your service bars start going up and down from one bar to three to four bars you know what i mean all your pages is taking longer to load you know they telling you error it will not load like all of these things we brush past because we just like oh it's part of technology not understanding that other beings other entities have access to this technology that's in higher up positions that can control and dominate more of this technology you know what i mean I had 50 million thousand things happening. Every time I get to a clear space where it's like, all right, 
I got these vibes and this energy removed over here. I started pushing off on that one. I start removing some physical things. I start working more discipline in certain areas in my life. It's when they start bringing up and bringing back like all these methods and tactics that they have that they can utilize to try to rile my energy up. I was listening to a, a, a video recently, this guy who had, he was a content creator. He had got invited to one of those little weird Hollywood parties. And he was just mentioning how once he didn't do what was supposed to be done when he was at the mansion party, it was like the people had access to his home. When he would leave out, they would come into his house. They would like make one item disappear. They would have microphones in there listening to him. I think his roommate or the guy he was on his trip with said something about some kind of creamer that they didn't have. The next day they both woke up it was more creamer in the refrigerator. It's, it was like all kind of weird stuff that was happening. That's like, I understand it from this angle. But a lot of people, if they are attached to the witchy playbook, they gonna look at it as, oh, he just crazy, oh, he just paranoid. I mean, they was doing things like fixing his door. They, they fixed his stick shift on his car. I don't know how they had so much time or where he went to where they had the time to fix his car shifter you know what I mean it was just a lot of things transpiring to the point to where if he told people it wouldn't have made sense because it's like oh you're trying to tell me that you went to this party it didn't go well now they're breaking into your house and giving you snacks and treats and then they're they're like fixing different items and things in your house and on your vehicle like he took the same approach that I took like that's creepy you know what I mean like you have that much access to me that you know, you can adjust certain things in my life without me being aware of it until after it's already done. You know, like they did all these nice gestures. They could have been doing different things like poisoning his drink, poisoning his food. And I guess I should say poison even more because we already got a lot of poison in a lot of these things already, you know. But a lot of people, when they start processing, targeting individuals, they don't go to the spiritual realm being connected with God and source they go straight to the government and say oh yeah they got the they got this technology and they got that technology and they got this alphabet group and that alphabet group who gives a fuck about any of that it's all connected to the same demonic playbook so while you are talking about what I do is I tell people about this tree what this tree can do and reproduce what they do is they start talking about each branch each leaf and it's like that's cool, but without the tree, you wouldn't get to the branches and the leaves. You know what I mean? So I, I like to try to find the the main base in or more or a close closest to accurate starting point that I possibly can find. You know what I mean? You have things start tweaking out with your cars that never happened before, you know what I mean? It just be a bank accounts start doing weird things or you try to log in they tell you log in is wrong you go to transfer money they telling you not enough funds in there even though you know you got money in your account like it, it they have been turning this thing up to a whole nother level and that's why i always felt like it's important to not lean on the system for as much we cannot lean on them for as much as we do you know what i mean they haven't stopped with cash so if you can carry cash I would try to carry more cash you know I'm not saying carry all your money in cash but because we got to make a lot of transactions through car but you should have some cash on standby you should be practicing going hours minutes or days without picking up your phone you know what I mean and you can start off in small increments practice on and work on not being frustrated as much and being able to master and control it faster when you do start having these things happening around you. I wanted to say randomly, but it's not random. They are very accurate with their attacks. Now, do they always land? No, but they're pretty accurate with what they're doing. They study and they spend a lot of time in that space the same way we spend a lot of time energy over here in the spaces that we are in. But these are some things that we have to be mindful of. You know what I mean? is that once you become, you start walking that chosen life, 
you're also a targeted individual. They go hand in hand together. If you're doing something for the betterment of yourself, your life, plus the community and, you know, the masses that you can reach and access, you will become targeted. A lot of people feel as though if they just work on self, they become targeted. No, the system is making everybody selfish. So you only working on yourself. That's that's good job for you. But we need stronger warriors and creating these stronger words. So for a lot of us, we're working on self and we're trying to work and help as many people as we possibly can. You know, whether it's in the digital world or in this physical realm that we're in right now. All areas and avenues, you know. It's kind of like nobody wants to be that bad parent, that bad dad, that bad mom. You know, nobody wants to say that they're a bad teacher. Nobody wants to say that they're a bad leader. Nobody wants to say they're a bad follower. But somebody has to take on these roles. It's that simple. If it wasn't the case, then it wouldn't be none of this demonic witchy shit. I wouldn't have people talking to me about how it's okay to like... We in a society where we don't walk around naked. So seeing people who do walk around naked, there should be some shame put on it. It should be some shame, guilt, and blame and put on that. It's not, but that will become the process again soon, you know. You follow in the creator and God's light, you know. We wouldn't have as many men running around here being demonic and overusing their powers and abilities and their authority in a very demonic way. And then we also wouldn't have as many females out here that is been so brainwashed that and because the creator hasn't sent down something to make them pay for it right now, feel as though it's okay to dress as a whore. You know, you can go to a lot of countries and see that, you know, they they protect their femininity. There is no protection of no femininity out here, you know. Let them tell it, oh, I wear what I want to wear. Oh, I'm not hurting anybody. Oh, I'm expressing my sexuality. It's like, you're a female. You don't have to express that. It's naturally expressed i see plenty of arabic women that are extremely feminine that's covered up and what's crazy is yes it'd be hot as hell out here some days but i used to when i was younger i used to look at that like it was weird but now when i see it i gained a whole lot more respect for the women who do follow that religion because it takes a lot of discipline in a witchy society where all women not all at least 60 percent are walking around half naked dressing their little ones half naked in these target whore outfits because even target is really bad at even having clothes for little people you know what i mean it's it's showing for one which playbook they're using and for two it's making you stand out because you already targeted so now you're standing out even more so now it's like okay we all know which ones to go get at the process becomes extremely easy you know we already walking out here like a sore thumb that's just standing out. Anytime you leave your house, anytime you get on social media, they see you, they feel you. And it's like a sore thumb. They like, damn, I just want my thumb to stop throbbing right now. Like, they done put ice on it. They done put icy hot on it. You know, they done put a heating pad on it. I think they next step, they might be trying to go to the doctors and get it looked at. And it's only bruised, you know what I mean? But we gotta keep these things in mind. You know, don't get too lost in the sauce out here. And thinking that, oh, that just randomly happened. Oh, that just randomly happened to me. If you have a numerous amount of random attacks or a numerous amount of miscellaneous things happening to you, to, and you're moving in God's light, and you've been helping and healing and reaching and teaching as many people as possible, best believe you are targeted. They got their eye, their spirit, and all entities, and they're trying to put every weapon on you they possibly can. You know what I mean? But... I ain't want to run it up too long. I just want everybody to be mindful that we are targeted out here. You know what I mean? We got to stand in more solidarity. We got to be here for each other by any means necessary. You know what I mean? And I know that will require us to go out our way sometimes when it's inconvenient. You will have to go out your way sometimes when it's inconvenient. It's just that simple. I don't always want to do... Sometimes I just be wanting to... Wusai and relax and the creator be like you got work to do and I'd be like oh snap you right let me get up and start boom 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 you know getting the business done 
But we have to be mindful of these things. Anytime you start experiencing a lot of weird things, those people on the interstate, I didn't know them from Adam and Eve, and they was in two different vehicles. Only thing I could think of was that that uh, that Jim uh, Jim Carrey movie where I forgot the name of it, but his life was literally like a movie, and they had all these paid actors that was following him around. He would pull on one street, all these cars would pull out here on this other street. Just a bunch of a weird mishaps going on you know what i mean but he was also the target he was the the main character in the storyline you know so just keep these things in mind you know what i mean you're not crazy you're not paranoid i know a lot of people would say these things but you gotta remember words are spells and spells are real paranoid didn't become a thing until new age civilization because we all understood previously that we're spiritual beings that's why you can go to other parts of the world and see that they are more wholesome, they're more connected with self and source, opposed from, you know, everything that's happening around them. And that's also at a percentage because it depends on your community and tribe, depending on how much you will be trying to fit in and blend in. But tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens. Mm -hmm.